everyone, it's Warren from NQ Explorers. Another US adventure today. We're in the Sierra, Sierra Nevada mountains uh, once more, and this is the Butte Creek uh, prospecting area. Uh, there's a lot of old workings through this, where the old timers have worked uh, Butte Creek and the, uh, the high banks on each side. So there's a few tailings poles we're going to hit, and there's a lot of exposed bedrock. Um, and then we can we're going to do some water hunting too. I believe get the pan out and maybe get a few flakes out of the creek. Uh, I've got the ATX here today with the little 8-inch uh, mono because this ground's not terribly hot and uh, some of the other blokes got AT goals. Um, so we're just going to work this area initially and then work upstream and see if we can find any old workings further up the creek. Thanks for watching. So, I mean, there's going to be a lot of trash right here. People have camped right in this particular spot, but, you know, in and around these old tailings that we're going to find up on the high banks is what I've never searched, and I'm wondering how often people pay attention to that, and to get in there with these machines, maybe we can punch through some of that stuff. That rock's really, really shallow, so... You could be standing on bedrock at some point, you wouldn't even notice it, but it's right under your feet and the detectors can punch to it. So let's keep going. A flake of iron, typically the old timers working, so uh, you got to expect to dig a lot of iron in the old gold fields. Okay, it's about mid morning now, we've got a bit of sunshine, it's uh, not too cool. Uh, we've got some of the other blokes from the other side there. We're going to cross over there because there's a lot of modern rubbish on this side, but uh, there are old tailings dumps on that other bank. We're going to wait across this creek and uh, get up on that side. Flake of old timers on. Eh?
be the old tiny nail or piece of wire. Today, and I'm here with Dave, who's one of the local prospectors. He's just brought along a bit of uh, gold here that he's found. This is over half an ounce here. That's a beautiful water-worn nugget. How deep was that, Dave? You got that with the AT gold? I got that with AT gold. It was uh, in a crevice. It was probably about 10 inches deep. I keep the coil about oh, yeah. 10 inches away. Yeah. And uh, uh, another prospector had gone through and dug all the dirt out. Yeah. And it was stuck in the bottom of the crack. Yeah. Oh. Uh, just left there. He couldn't see it, evidently. Yeah, <laughs> you would have, your heart would have left when that came out of the crack. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I yeah. was, was going to watch a football game, but I decided not to that Sunday. Oh, uh, uh, good idea. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, now my wife, she says that uh, I can go out metal detecting all the time now. She even has lunch ready for me. <laughs> you bring one of them home every time, and she's going to say it all the time. That's right, yeah. Yeah, no worries. That's, thanks for showing us that. I'm just getting a sample here on an old deep lead. It's an old creek bank here, or part of the current system that's now above ground. So we're going to, here's the bedrock. I'm just getting a sample above the bedrock. I might get some nice flakes of gold out of this. There's red dirt coming out of this stuff. Nice red dirt coming out of it. Mud. Front end of it. Yeah. Specs. Yep. It's a little wiry gold. He's onto something here. Sounding all these cobbles. Looks like it's just been worked with a dredge or maybe the old timers have been in here. Hey, yeah? But he got something. Oh, it's an old ring. Looks like, looks like an old brass ring. Maybe there's old timers working here that yeah. could date from the 1800s. That's a beauty. A nice find. I don't see any marks on it, but uh... Yeah. Well, sometimes they were gilt, those old brass rings. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Gonna get pretty deep out there, I think. 